Hey guys, Ewan here with the Old School Labs, so we're gonna start this video with a quick update of Ronnie Coleman. It's not much of a physique update really, but it's a bicep check, and his bicep still looks good. And it's a probably bigger bicep than most of our biceps that we're watching this video. It's a good bicep, for sure, I mean this is the best bodybuilder of all time, retired though in a wheelchair, but it's amazing to see him still having such an amazing bicep peak, but you can guys see him all the time on Instagram, he's still training. Okay, yeah, maybe he's not able to do squats or deadlifts or anything like that, but he's doing like curls, cable curls, pushdowns and stuff like that, and it's enough to maintain a solid bicep peak for sure, and I'm glad to see him having fun over here, so he had a fun day outside, so he looks happy, you know, he, he does what he loves, you know, he has trouble doing what he loves, but he can still get away with doing some of it, and uh, his biceps again look great in this photo. Enough about Ronnie, let's go to Rolly, and uh, this guy has been posting a lot of content lately on Instagram, and you guys know that when he is active, when he's prepping for something, that's when he posts stuff, when he is off, when he isn't really pushing the stuff too hard, you know, with the gear and everything, he doesn't post a lot, and now he is, and he looks amazing also, look at the, the, the arms here, yeah, he's doing his legs, but look at the arms. But as far as the legs, he's doing the leg press, a crazy drop set with a lot of weight, so he's prepping for something, I'm sure. I've been telling this all along and there is another video of himself training really hard, I'm sure he has a plan of competing as soon as possible, qualifying for the Mr. Olympia and eventually doing the best that he can on Mr. Olympia stage and the best that he can, really, in my opinion, is actually winning it, because he was very close. 2018 he was third, right behind Sean Rodden who was... Just amazing, and Phil Heath, who wasn't as good as he was back in the day, but better in 2018. Anyways, Rolly, what can we expect of him? I expect a lot, and I can't wait to see him back on stage again. Next, we have Patrick Moore with an arm training video, and you can see that this guy grew some really big arms. I don't know how big they were back before his mass cycle, but his arms are huge now, especially for somebody with such long arms. And this is, I mean, this kind of goes to tell you, can he really switch to classic, as many people are saying. With these kind of arms, I don't think <laughs> there are classic guys with these big arms. But then again, yeah, he has big arms, too big for classic, let's say. But uh, he's too small for the open again. <laughs> so standing next to the big guys, you know, if he stood next to Big Ramy or somebody like that, he would get smoked, and he already has. So he's not big for the open, he's not small enough, or he cannot uh, cut the weight for classic, and that kind of sucks, so what should he do, what he is closer to getting, is he closer to getting big enough for the open, or cutting the weight down for classic, and me personally, I don't think anybody should lose muscle for a division, it's really hard to gain this kind of muscle and to lose it for a division, this is not fat or dehydration that's gonna fix this thing, it's gonna be muscle loss, you don't wanna do that, so he should try and get big enough for the open, it's hard, and it's not gonna happen in a year or two, maybe in a, in a couple of years, but he's not a youngster though, he did start late with bodybuilding, and he started kind of recently, 6-7 years ago, and he's in his mid-30s now, I believe, so it might never happen, maybe he's never gonna be like a top tier bodybuilder in the open, but then again, if he can be a top 10 bodybuilder as he was in 2019 and a bit smaller but super conditioned, I think that's a big achievement and I think it's maybe it's a bigger success than winning the Classic Physique Mr. Olympia title, what do you think? What do you consider a bigger accomplishment? Top 10 in the open at the Mr. Olympia or first place in Classic at Mr. Olympia? And when I think about it, really, I'm not even sure which is better, but then you guys can tell me in the comment section down below, whatever you think, what is better? Classic Physique Mr. Olympia winner or top 10 in the open? Alright, how about we mention Sean Clarida, the giant killer, who is uh, deep in his offseason right now, growing, trying to get better for the next year. He's in 212 and he competed at like 170 or something, so he has a lot of room to grow and if he can actually grow without uh, losing the flow of his physique, if he can actually maintain those kind of lines with just getting bigger, that's gonna be amazing, guys. That's gonna be one dominant 212 Mr. Olympia champion. I don't see anybody really uh, dethroning him next year or this year. If all goes well, he will be 212 Mr. Olympia champion two times, and uh, here you can see him training, and he looks absolutely amazing in this offseason. 
All right, next we have Blessing of Oribu. He is going to be competing at the New York Pro this year against Nick Walker. There was a lot of drama between these two guys. Though Blessing kind of admitted in the comment section that it was only for the publicity. They don't really have any beef, any real beef. Maybe they went a little bit too far. Maybe now there is actually beef, but it doesn't matter. This just made fans excited to see that New York Pro and it helped. It helped the sport, this kind of stuff. You know, drama, rivalry. It definitely makes you more excited and curious to what's gonna happen, what's gonna be the result and how these guys are gonna fare against one another when they stand next to each other. And here you can see a physique update of Blessing. So what this guy has is an incredibly small waist. Especially from the side, when he twists his uh, torso like this, he has a really small waist and he has that bubbly 3D type of look that I think is a genetic predisposition that black guys usually have. And it definitely is a big help, for sure, if you have this kind of fullness and roundness and everything like that. But then again, Nick Walker is really massive. He's really massive, he's bigger than Blessing, I think. And uh, he can get really grainy, you know, really hard. So we'll see, I mean, Blessing, he was never really super sharp before. I don't think you've ever seen him peeled, but now he's coached by Chad Nichols. So that kind of tells me he's gonna be ripped. And against Nick Walker, I don't know, Nick is really big and he has more experience. So we'll see what's gonna happen, but based on this photo right here and a couple of more, I guess we're gonna have somewhat of a Dorian Yates versus Flex Wheeler kind of situation, where you have a guy like Blasting here with incredible muscle bellies, you know? Like everything is popping, everything just looks beautiful, very aesthetic. And the other guy who is a little bit flatter, but bigger and more conditioned so we'll see who's gonna win that that title but take a look at this take a look at the waist <laughs> can you take a look at it you don't even see it because the, ca the hands are covering it and you cannot really see any kind of uh, bulge in that stomach area so he really did i think he did a nice vacuum here and all this shape really good really really aesthetic physique for a big guy so we'll see what he looks on stage he's gonna be matching these instagram photos is gonna be enough to beat to beat Nick Walker, who is one of the biggest guys right now, one of the biggest beasts. We'll see, soon enough. Okay, next we have Big Rami posting a photo. Two photos, actually, of himself doing front lat spread. They're both kind of same poses, but in one he's flexing his abs, that's the next photo, and this one is with his stomach relaxed like this. So, I don't know if this is recent or not. I don't think he was this conditioned at the Mr. Olympia stage, this could be at some point before the Mr. Olympia. He did not address this in the in the description or in the comments. I cannot find anything. I don't know. I mean, he looks really lean to be in the off season looking like this. If that's the case, then wow, then it's just amazing. He can actually grow and eat a lot and look like this. This shredded. That means he's gonna be ripped at the next stage. Uh, here you can see him with his abs flexed. So you tell me which one do you like more? But, I don't know, I don't think this is off-season. It's posted now, and he didn't clarify if this is recent or new, uh, or actually recent or old, before the Mr. Olympia, or during the Mr. Olympia that time. I don't know, but this is your Mr. Olympia champion, guys, and uh, he is a freak. Anyways, whenever these photos were taken, they look absolutely insane. So, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you want to see more, subscribe to this channel. All the best, guys, and keep it old school.